Hi guys, I'm Miss Sarah and for today's program we are going to be reading the story Pug Meets Pig by Sue Lowell Gallion. Pug Meets Pig by Sue Lowell Gallion. This is Pug's home. This is where Pug lives. This is Pug's bowl. This is where Pug eats. This is Pug's yard. This is where Pug works. And this is Pug's bed. This is where Pug sleeps. Pug is happy here at home with his bowl, his yard, and his bed. But one day, when the door opens, out trots someone new. Pig meets Pug. Pug meets Pig. Pug is hungry, but here is Pig. Pug has work to do. But here is Pig. Pug needs some sleep. But here is Pig. Pug is not happy. He is not happy here at home anymore. Pug cannot stay here. He packs his things. But wait, what's this? Now Pug can come and go without Pig. Once again, Pug is happy here at home. But someone else is not. Pig's head can fit through the doggy door. Pig's tail can fit through the doggy door. But Pig's round middle cannot fit. What a sad Pig. Perhaps Pug could help. Perhaps Pug should help. Perhaps Pug will help. Pug scratches and gnaws. He chews and claws. And then the doggy door for Pug is also a piggy door for Pig. Now this is where Pug and Pig eat. This is where Pug and Pig work. This is where Pug and Pig sleep. Pug is happy here at home. And so is Pig. The End Stay tuned to view a pig-themed outline that will contain a list of books available either through the library or through Tumble Books, interactive flannel boards, action movement rhymes to do at home, and more. Here are a few books that the library owns that would be great for a pig-themed story time. The third book is available through both the library and through our animated talking picture books database, Tumble Books. Finger plays are a great way to help children develop small motor skills as well as allow them to express themselves. If you choose to do the action movement with the child, make sure that you are enthusiastic about it because your excitement will carry over and they will have more fun with it. Here is the first interactive flannel board. Click on the first link in the post to access it. To partake in the flannel board, click on the triangle to reset the flannel board. Then say the rhyme with your child and click on the pigs one at a time until all the pigs are gone. To add extra fun to the flannel board, have the child count how many pigs are left after each one disappears. Here's the second interactive flannel board. Click on the second link in the post to access it. To partake in the flannel board, click on the triangle to reset the flannel board. Then say the rhyme with your child and click on the piggies one at a time until all the piggies are gone. To add extra fun to the flannel board, ask the child what direction each pig moves towards. Now to end this story time, here's a picture of a pig-themed craft that the child can make at home. I hope you enjoy the story time and thanks for watching. Bye!